Hi, welcome back to the channel and another one of our Riviera challenge videos in which we're attempting to drive the whole of the French Riviera in a Citroen Ami. Uh, today we've got a fantastic drive for you. We're going to take you through the centre of Nice, past the wonderful Joan of Arc Cathedral, which I know you have a burning desire to go to. Uh, we're then going to go head up to Nice North uh, we're going to take you to the wonderful Cascade, the waterfall of Gayro, and then we're headed, of course, to a wonderful perched village, the village of Aspremont, where with any luck, we'll find something delicious to eat. So uh, sit back and enjoy the ride. So as usual on our uh, excursions. Uh, we're, we're suffering a bit of uh, uh, traffic problems in Nice. Um, if you can avoid going through Nice on the way to any of these places, do it. Would be my top tip. <laughs> you can see straight ahead of us there, they're, they're building a huge phantasmagoric um, a hotel. Careful, blue is red light. Sorry. Brand new hotel by the railway station. Blue, you just... Oh, I've no idea what that is. Is it a red light? Yeah, I just said stop, there's a red light. Oh, I can't see traffic lights. Are you looking forward to seeing the cathedral, Halloween? Oh, yeah, she's definitely excited. There it is. So oh, here she is. Now, Mr. Boo, have you got any Mr. Boo facts about this cathedral? Well, it was built in 1934. Oh, by Martians? By Martians. Actually, they started it, uh, I think, in 1901, and then um, there's, a, there's a crypt that they finished early a crypt. on. And, and then they started using this reinforced, reinforced concrete, very, very modern at the time in the 1930s. It's true, and, and, and why did they do it? in concrete. Is there a reason? Was it just cheap or it was, was it? It was cheap and fashionable. And it was, uh, yeah. Is that it? <laughs> Your concrete expertise, is that the extent of it? Yeah. Remind me to go to a concrete expert next time for, for my cathedral news. Um, but it was quite controversial at the time it still is some people still hate it and oh, um, sure and the frenchies call it the meringue the meringue yeah because oh. it kind of looks like a meringue yeah. a rocket ship made out of meringue mm. so we're headed now to nice north aren't we yes i love this uh renault garage up here look at that that's like something off a film set isn't it it's gorgeous so we're going to turn right here. Up this hill? Yes. Oh my God. Do you choose deliberately hairpin bend routes for me? Yeah, because it really entertains me taking my life in my hands, or indeed my life in your hands. Or your hands in my wife. <laughs> Don't listen, Halloween. God, there's some dribble talk on this channel. Right. So up there. Up there. Oh my God. You do deliberately pick. This is like... One in three, look at this. We're never going to get up here. We're now a, a massive 16, 17 kilometers an hour going up here. Well, people often uh, message me on the channel and say, will the me go up very steep hills? It will, just very slowly. Um, th and this is super steep. How did you choose this hill? I didn't. Google did. Google Maps did. Well, Google Maps has got it in for us. Look at this. <laughs> We're going to stop. We're not going to make it up here. There's a bus behind us. I can't go any faster. Doesn't go any faster, Mr. Bus Driver. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to go faster. Straight up? Straight up. Oh, my. God. Uh, this is insane. This is the steepest hill. I think this is the steepest hill we've gone up. I think it could be. Because we're down to 16 now. We made it. 
Wowza. Oof. Over the bridge. Over this bridge. Over the motorway. Does, does the next stage involve a parachute or something? It might. Yeah. Unbelievable. I think he's trying to sort of, are you trying to sort of bump me off? No, you'll know. <laughs> Good. past um, a wine domain, a oh. vineyard next to us on our right. Really? Yeah. Where? Up there? Yeah, behind this, behind this fence is a... That's Mende a Chateau Neuf. Chateau Neuf? Oh, yeah. that man's beating his car. Car, oh, Matt. You do see some sights, don't you? There you go, the Domaine de Chateau Neuf. Oh, yeah. Maybe we'll do a wine tour. Maybe we'll come back and do a wine tour there. Would you like a wine tour? I'd like a wine. I you wine quite a lot. I'd always like a wine. And there you can see the sign, the Cascade de Gayro. Um, it's quite something. Or it was last time we came many years ago. <laughs> it's probably fallen down now. <laughs> Eglise de Gero. Oh God, this is tight. Is anything coming? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Are we allowed in? Yep. I hope they don't shut the gates when we get stuck, Mr. Boo. We're okay until 7.30. Yeah, remember last time we came here that you thought there was a bit of... There was... Well, there were people in cars, weren't there? Well, there were people in cars. Couples in cars at dusk. Mm-hmm. Now, there may have been waterfall fans or they may not I mean I, maybe I'm just a bit cynical but maybe that's why they put a gate on now to shut it earlier mm. to, uh, to so there's not too many couples at dusk taking in the air some of the little footpaths down here if you're a walker but this is the fabulous Cascade de Gero. Isn't it wonderful? Where are we going to park, Mr. Boo? Down here? I would carry on going down as if we're going to the cemetery. Oh, <laughs> another cemetery. Well, I know you're a fan. You know what they say in Yorkshire, it's not the coffin, it's the coffin they carry you off in. Right. I think we'll park near the church because I think the church might be worth a visit, don't you? Oh, it might be. Because I read, I read quite a lot about the church and it may be a <coughs> oh, like a church visit. Oh, oh, there's a big dog though. Do you think that's the church warden's dog? It doesn't look very pleased with us, does it? Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I forgot we brought Halloween and now we're surrounded by mad dogs, three of them. It's okay, Weems. It's okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what we're going to do because we're now stuck in the car with a chihuahua. And some wild dogs. It's alright, Halloween. Okay. I'm going to take you to the church now. We'll be fine. Ringing that bell, don't they? They do. Is it a special kit? Do you think it's specially for us? Yeah. Oh. Lord, it's mighty cold in here. But isn't it marvellous? Look at that.
So, are there any Mr. Boo facts about this church, Mr. Boo? Well, there's been a church here since 1441, you know. 1441? Yeah, do you remember? <laughs> Well, anyway, folks, we're now going to hop back in the Ami and we're going to head up to this wonderful waterfall where I'm sure Mr. Boo has got a whole uh, cascade of facts. So, Mr. Boo, this is it. The Cascade de Gero. So, oh, Mr. Boo, what is the story of this mysterious cave and lagoon and waterfall? What, I mean, it looks a bit... Well, it doesn't look entirely real. Well, it's not real at all. It's all fake. It's all... It's not rock. It's all concrete. Oh, really? Yep. There's a theme developing today. We've had concrete cathedrals. And now we've got concrete waterfalls. Yeah, well, I am the concrete expert, as you know. It's true. And why is it here? Well, it was built to celebrate uh, the Canal de la Vesubie, oui. uh, bringing water to Nice. Oh. And it was built when? 1883. So, and it was built as a sort of tourist attraction? It was built kind of as a tourist attraction. The weird chalet above us that we'll see yeah. was built kind of as a guardian's house to look after the site of the thing and it's still owned by the water company. It looks a bit like Swiss Cottage, you know it the pub a bit like in Swiss London. Cottage, yeah. And that's fake as well, isn't it, in a in a sense. But I, I guess there was a period down here in the Belle Epoque when building in the style of Swiss chalets was in, in, in the same way as building in the style of, of Russian uh, you know sort of castles and English castles and all kinds of weirdness where it was in, wasn't it? All this water's had a funny effect on me, Mr. Boo. Do you need the loo? I need the loo, but it's made me really hungry. Mm, me too. Let's go and get some lunch down the hill. So, we're going to take you to a restaurant that's been recommended to us, a restaurant called Lottobus, which I think has a little garden and uh, a boulangerie attached to it. Uh, and it's uh, supposed to be quite good. Yeah, uh oh, Mr. Boo, the autobus. Is this it? This is it. Looks rather closed, doesn't it? The shop looks open. Oh, it's another strange closed day. Maybe they close Wednesday. <laughs> Never fear, we have a plan B, which is this wonderful old building over here, which is also a restaurant. And uh, at least we're going to get to see it. So let's we try that. Let's try. Definitely feels like the local village eatery, this, doesn't it? Definitely. Qu'est-ce que c'est le dogue de Macassan? Le dogue de Macassan, c'est le bébé du sol. Ils ont oublié juste comme ça. Ah, c'est anglais. I'm looking forward to my baby wild boar stew. Now, I've had wild boar stew before, but never baby wild boar. Macassan. I'm going to show you a picture of one. Oh, will it be too cute? <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Oh, don't show me a picture. Show me a picture when I've eaten it. OK. This is our starter, which is uh, pisaladie, which is, of course, a Niçois speciality, which is kind of a sweet onion, isn't it? Yep. Uh, and uh, what would you say the pastry is? It's just sort of... It's, it's not like really, pizza pastry. It's sort of like a pizza pastry, yeah. Um, when it's good, it's really good. Let's try, and it's also got anchovies on, and you can see an olive there, and uh, a little bit of rosemary. Give it a whirl, Mr. Boo. 
on va dans le spot. Is it good? Mm, really nice. The lady said it was a speciality and I kind of believed her. You can taste the anchovy, the sweetness of the onion. Um, but I don't think the base is pizzery. It's sort of more crumbly. Mm. It's almost like a sort of dried bread or something. This is what I mean by the, the base. You, Mr. Boo just said it's a little bit more like a biscuit, and it is sort of. It's more a biscuity base than a pizza base. You can see the texture of it there. Halloween's uh, brought her own food. It's a well-known local speciality called a rodeo. Du mayo, s'il vous plaît. Merci bien. What have you got, Mr. Boo? I've got a tartare de boeuf. A raw beef. Mm. Looks like it's got a nice mix of things in. It does. Possibly some capers. Maybe some capers. I like, I like a bit of addition to my tartare de boeuf. Merci beaucoup. What's it like? Mm, very nice. Yummy, actually. No. There's some gherkins in it. Ah. And you know I love a gherkin. Bit of spice in it. A bit of spice. Bit of Worcester sauce, maybe. Definitely Worcester. Mm. Capers? Um, no capers. Mm. But there's some onions and some more herbs to put on to mix in. Oh, at the side? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. So you can make your own. Mm -hmm. And mine looks absolutely spectacular. This is the uh, um, baby wild boar with creamed polenta. I think I shall have to do a lot of walking in Aspremont to walk this off. So, this is my first baby wild boar. I've had lots of song here before. Oh, it's very good. It's interesting. I would say the difference is it's slightly less gamey than a big wild boar and maybe a bit more tender. Maybe it's not an old boar, this. This is a, a young boar, tender. It's lovely. Try the polenta. Oh. Mm. And the polenta is lovely, very fresh and the cream is <laughs> lovely, but wow, that's, a, that's, a, that's full Monty. But it's it lovely. looks like a, a healthy option, adding that cream to the polenta. Yeah, I think the last I, minute. I think my weight gain is going to continue, but it's really good. And one of the great secrets of dough is the carrot. It's the most underrated bit of the dough, isn't it, Mr. Boo? Because dough, which is a sort of Provence or local beef stew, almost like a beef bourguignon, but simpler and often involves sort of flavours like orange rind and things like that. But the carrots, if you get the right carrots and you leave them in here and you marinate them overnight and then you really slow cook this for sort of eight, nine hours or more, um, the carrots are... Oh, Absolutely delicious, are they? They're almost the best bit. I often put like too many carrots in because I love them. Are you going to pay? I don't think Halloween's paying. She never pays, have you noticed? Well, that was lovely, wasn't it, Mr. That Boo? was delicious. It was very delicious, very sort of lovely, home cooking, good ingredients, and the place is just the real deal. I mean, it really is. It's full of atmosphere, it's full of local families. Um, it's what traditional France does best. Local eateries, home cooking, seasonal, good value. Now, Mr. Boo, it's time to get back in Elton and to go and visit Aspremont. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, you can get the old uh, 76 bus up here from Nice North, from uh, Stade de Ray, which is the old football stadium. Uh, look on the uh, lindazur.com you'll find all the bus times um, but uh, do take seasickness tablets first because it throws you around quite a bit but it, it's a fabulous journey and you get incredible views like that let's go down here see if we can turn around and drive into the village that would be fun wouldn't it <laughs> so mr boo is now consulting the ancient google map to try and work out whether we can actually drive you through the village. If we can, we will. So, we're going to attempt 
to drive into the village. Uh, not sure how much we can drive in, but we'll try. Maybe we'll do a, a right up here, Mr. Boo, do you think? Let's do it. Let's risk it for a biscuit. I think this is, ah uh, yeah, this is the, the post office. I remember this post office. Oh, there's a car coming. I think we'll wait for him then. They're yeah, waiting for us. Oh, that's very kind of him. Um, so far, so good. Try not to fall off one of these sets of steps. You know, we edge our way around. I think we might just... <laughs> Yet another village people experience. <laughs> I used to love the village people, didn't you? Oh, what a drop down there. Oh, look, there's a zebra crossing. On Teddy, so f ceremonies religious. What does that mean? You can't go up there unless there's a religious ceremony. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> but, but you can't use that crossing. I guess it's... You can only cross the road at Easter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Oh, look, we can't go up there. We can walk up there, though. That'd be interesting. Um, now which way? Shall we carry on round? I see got a horrible feeling we're going to meet our Waterloo at a dead end. Well, it's very pretty. In fact, you can... Oh, look! The tree man's been. Can you hear him? I can hear the log, the log man, man of Alcatraz. Alcatraz. Listen! You can see his detritus. Well, this is very pretty. I, I didn't think we'd be able to do this. Well, we may not. I just hope somebody doesn't come the other way. Oh, my God, look at this turn. Oh, we're going into the village, Mr. Boo. Oh. Is this allowed? Can <laughs> <laughs> oh. you go up there? No, I think he must come out that way. He's got quite a gutter. I bet when it rains, it comes down here at a pace. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this. I like these weird, naive art murals. Yeah. This is Plas Leandro Estraudo. Well, who knew you could draw? I can't go left, can we? That's into his house. Is this a dead end? Yeah, I think oh. we're at the top. I think oh. that's steps. <laughs> oh, that's the wash house there. Oh. I've, I've been up here, up there. There's a view if we could park. You think you can park here? We might block this man in there, might we? Well, we'd well, the he'd, he'd give us a toot, wouldn't he? Do you think? I, well, I think we risk it for a minute, don't okay. you? Now we're here. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Mr. Boo's getting some free water at Wesh House. So let's take you up here now, because I think in normal times there's quite a spectacular view, because I think this is the highest point of the village. But we're a bit worried that um, we've probably parked out illegally and we might have blocked in the tree man of Alcatraz. <laughs> So yeah, this is it. I remember coming here many years ago. Oh, I, we came together yeah. for this bit. I've been twice, I think. I remember this view over here. Um, and if we get up here, this is where you get a view. But today, there may be a little bit too much pollution, sadly. There's the log man, can you hear him? <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, somewhere in that 
polluted mess is the Mediterranean. Let's uh, rush back to our car before it's impounded. I was talking, talking to a friend of ours the other day and uh, he'd, been, he'd had his car taken off him on the autobahn or whatever you call the French, French freeway because I think he was 50 kilometers an hour over the speed limit and they confiscated his car and uh, it only cost him 900 pounds in a taxi to get to the south of France. <laughs> that didn't include reclaiming the car, the impound fee, the 750 euro fine. So be careful, speed traps. Lie in wait. Do you think we dare leave Elton for five minutes and have a quick explore of the village? Yeah, Halloween can guard the car. Oh yeah, Halloween. She's not going to get too hot in there, is she? Not up here. Not up here. It's quite chilly. <gasps> Halloween can guard the car, but I do hope that that man doesn't want to come out. So it's very, very pretty. And some super little narrow streets and buttressing. I like big buttresses and I cannot lie. So Aspromont is absolutely lovely, but I'm not sure that the restaurants were open because uh, it's still out of season here, of course. So you might be better to uh, take your chances on the way up here or dine down there at Gayro where we did. Anyway, it's been a fantastic ride. It's a fantastic village. Thanks for all your coffees. Thanks for all your likes. Thanks for all your subscriptions. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.